Hey everyone, it's Gabrielle and welcome back to my channel. So uh, today is going to be a video that's a little like sad. It's not like sad, but it's kind of just my perspective um, and my feelings about something. So it kind of is like dating as a trans teen and my experience is dating and um, my whole entire kind of feelings about the situation. So if you didn't know, um, I am a transgender teenager. If you don't know what transgender means, it's basically where your, um, your mind and your body don't really match in dating. Romantic attractions, feelings terrify me so much. They are honestly really unsettling and I don't like thinking about having feelings for people. I don't like thinking about being romantic with people, especially sexual with people is like, no, sorry, I hate my body, not gonna work. Um, a lot of people ask me, you know, whenever I get feelings for people, they're like, why do you want them to go away so bad? Why do you not like having feelings for people? And I usually am just like, oh, I'm heartless. I love being heartless. I don't like anyone. I don't like having my guard down. Um, but the truth is that um, for girls like me, um, love is really like a fairy tale in a way. You you hope for it, you dream for it, you want it to be possible for you, you want someone to love you for you. Um, but it's not, a, it's not easy and especially for someone like me uh, from experiences, uh, I'm very, um, I'm very aware of the people I let into my life and how much I let them in and why I do that is because of the simple fact that I want to make sure the people that are in my life are good for me and that aren't going to harm me and they're going to keep me in a good place. And when it comes to love, um, I've never dated anyone. I've never been in a relationship. I've never had my heart broken by someone. Um, and I'm already in a pretty fragile state as a person. So when I think about if I was, um, I've seen my best friends go through breakups and it honestly seems horrible and I don't think I'd be able to handle that. Honestly, I wouldn't. Uh, I mean, I want kids when I'm older. I want to be married. I want to have a cute little house and I want to have kids and I, I want them to, um, I want to teach the, them how to grow up as good people and I, I dream of that, but it's like, Will I ever be comfortable enough to open up to someone, to let someone in like that? And you know what? I truly do believe this. I really do believe that um, when the right person comes, whenever the right person comes, maybe they're already here and we, I just don't know and they don't know it. Like, I don't know. I can't say. I can't say that it's never going to happen because anything could happen. It's a little, like it sucks seeing everyone else around you in love and dating and you know and then I'm like I want it so bad you know I I want to be a good girlfriend I want to be I want to I want to bake food with with my partner and I want to go on nature walks and I want to just I want to go to parks and just have fun and well you know I want to look in their eyes and just be like wow Yes, you are beautiful and full of so much. And I just, I think I, for me, I've done enough fighting to be myself. I am kind of over the idea of fighting to get someone to love me when I should be loved. I deserve love like any other girl out there, but it's not that easy and I've come to accept it. I've, it sucks. Yeah, it sucks. But I've, it's something that you just have to become accustomed to and you just have to say, okay, this is how it is. This is how I chose to live my life because I wanted to be happy and maybe this is something that I'm not going to be able to experience. And I just, I don't care when I fall in love. I don't care if the person 
um, I, I, when I fall in love, I want the person to love me back. That's really all that matters, you know, so that I could have that experience. And I wanted a teen. I wanted to be in love as a teen. I wanted someone to be like, hey, I don't care if she's trans and she's nice. And there's a lot more to her when you get to know her. That's the type of person I am when you get to know me. I'm completely different than I am at school. And I want I want someone to experience that. I want someone to, you know, know my secrets and know things about me. And I, I dream of that. But I know it's not going to be that easy. And um, fingers crossed that maybe someone likes me. And they're like seeing this. Or, you know, they see me. Or, you know, they watch my videos or something. And... I don't know. I just, it kind of sucks sometimes. Because I know that if someone did like me or um, was attracted to me and they knew I was trans, they probably wouldn't voice it publicly. They probably wouldn't be honest to me or themselves because society says it's bad. Thank you guys for watching this video and I love you. Bye.